Juliana, the penetration of mobile tools throughout the African continent has also given people the opportunity to be more active and aware about their role as citizens. Ushaidi helped in this process. In which way? Um, first of all, uh, the Ushahidi platform incorporates uh, options for, in for using SMS as a way for people to report. So for all deployments that do use this particular capability, that is a channel for participation uh, and therefore a way to gather information from, from the public and a way for the public to also get alerts back also via mobiles uh, and other means. So uh, that is one way that uh, the platform has been able to enable this, not just in Africa but also around the world. What is it used also, this uh, platform? Uh, it is used uh, everywhere, really, um, from in, Russia. In which situation, of course? In which situations? Okay, uh, the, the main use case has been around crisis mapping, uh, for example, uh, in Haiti, Chile, and now Japan. Uh, that is probably one of the most uh, visible uses. Uh, it's been used to crowdsource information from the public about uh, how they view elections, uh, most recently in Nigeria with ReclaimNiger.net. Uh, that particular initiative used the platform for that particular um, uh, risk, uh, for that particular situation, but that is by no means the only way. There's even a burger map, burgermap.org. So the platform is very um, flexible and extendable to whatever uh, situation you'd like to track. In a situation of a political crisis, uh, one of the problems you have to cope with is uh, censorship. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the issue on this problem? I think what we saw with uh, in several countries is when the mobile operator uh, is forced to send messages on behalf of a certain government, like we saw in Egypt, or when they shut off communications altogether. Uh, in terms of censorship, um, I think people have to think twice when they use some of these tools to make sure that they're not exposing uh, themselves to danger or uh, mostly it's about, it, it just varies. Um, sometimes it's about making sure that uh, people know, but most most times they, they would know that, you know, that using a certain mobile operator, you know, could be dangerous for you or uh, but again it really varies from country to country there's a very good organization called herdict web uh, herdict.org um, out of berkman center that tracks issues of censorship uh, and repression um, of online speech so i think that that's a really good resource to to look into another uh, big job uh, you are doing is uh, about a crowding map uh, for uh, gathering data so crowd map is uh, the ushahidi platform in the cloud it lowers the barrier for using the ushahidi platform um, so the Ushahidi platform is very fully, fully fledged, so you can customize it, you can change the look and feel of it, but it, it requires some technical know-how in order to set up. With CrowdMap, you can quickly um, set up a, a, um, a trial run of sorts, or like the co Crisis Commons de, uh, did in Italy. They used it for um, a uh, simulation of how they would respond to a certain situation. So crowd map, but that's not the only use. People use it for, again, many different things, but that is definitely a service that we uh, um, make available for people to, to use and try our tool. It, it lowers the barrier. It's very easy to try it out. The common thread that you see um, in the recent events in Egypt and Tunisia and uh, other parts of the world is that people have a voice these days, uh, people have a voice. Um, and citizens, the moment they can report and uh, say, this is what I see and this is what's going on, I think that bodes well for democracy because democracy is, uh, you know, at the basis of it is government for the people, by the people. but. Are the people speaking out? Are you hearing the voice of the people in whichever way they're speaking to you? So I think um, 
our with our tools our mission is to change how information flows and most we're mostly very focused on allowing bottom up information so i think in that particular respect we do hope that our tools play a role um, some role in bringing marginalized voices or uh, voices or opinions that you wouldn't otherwise hear or reports from people you, you you wouldn't otherwise hear about even from rural areas um, via SMS for example um, that is representative and can be a democratic way of exchanging information.